<laughs> hey guys, happy freaking Friday. And I know, I'm sorry, I was supposed to upload this video yesterday. But I ended there was a YouTube error, and I ended up having to re-record re the entire video. Right. So yes, I actually it am recording coming. this a day late. Because the original the video that I had posted, well, at least tried to render, messed up, and then I lost all the files. So here I am, redoing it again. So... Anyways, today's topic is, are mobile gamers real gamers? And, you know, by mobile gamers, I think you can automatically assume I'm talking about people who play on their phones, you know, uh, Apple, iPhones, or Androids, or, you know, even Windows phones and tablets, if that's the way you roll. But, before I begin, I'll let you know that, yes, I actually do think that mobile gamers are real gamers, and don't worry, I'll give you all my reasons why. But, yeah, alright, so, my first reason is... You know, a lot of people don't just assume that because you play something, a casual game on a mobile device, that doesn't make you a gamer. But, I mean, it's a video game. And a gamer is somebody who enjoys video games of any kind. Whether they only prefer first-person shooters, or even if they prefer a certain who console over another console. They're still a video gamer. They are still a gamer. I mean, even if somebody That's doesn't like modern space. games and they only play Just stuff on the done. Genesis, they're still a gamer. They're still I part don't... of gaming culture, well, and they I still enjoy video like games, right, so which is what a gamer is. So that is my first Dawson. point. Holders my second is point Holders. is, yes, the phones Holders are a console, there. technically. You, you know, they play, the they are a device that allows you to play a video game, therefore they are technically a console. I mean... They're, yes, they, they might be multi-purpose consoles, you know, I mean, but so is the PC. And the PC is the strongest console there is, infinitely upgradable, definitely the definitive way to play video games. But what I'm saying is, just because a phone isn't, you know, 100% dedicated gaming platform, doesn't mean it still can't be a viable source of, you know, choice for gamers to play their games on. And the, this kind of leads me into my third point, but... You may have noticed that I'm playing Knights of the Old Republic, a game widely considered to be one of the best games of all time, and definitely the best Star Wars game of all time. You can play this game on the original Xbox, you can play this game on the PC, which is what I'm playing it on now, but guess what, you can play this on iOS. They released it on the Apple Store. You can play this game on your phone. This game, one of the best games of all time, you can play it on your phone. And if that doesn't prove to you that the phones are a viable source of gaming entertainment, then I don't know what else will. And it's not just Knights of the Old Republic. Um, other amazing games like Bioshock, Final Fantasy, Grand Theft Auto, they're all coming out on iOS, and it's not going to stop. They're going to keep... They, they know they can sell the game there. It's These phones are getting strong enough to where they can actually you know run these games smoothly. I mean, I, I have Knights of the Old Republic on the tablet, and it's smooth it felt like just like it did on the original xbox obviously there's touch controls so it's you know different but it's not like it still feels smooth i'm pretty sure it runs 30 or 60 fps even on an old tablet which is just crazy how strong our technology our phones are now but yeah you can play these huge huge triple a awesome best games of all time games you can play them on your phone and that just that cements my argument as to why they're considered, you know, con they're consoles. They are a viable source of gaming entertainment. And even the government agrees with me. When they do their census, you know, when they are taking their polls as to the g video gamers, they count the phones. They count mobile phones as gaming devices. And, I mean, it's just, it's true. Mobile gamers, they are real gamers. It doesn't matter if they prefer Angry Birds over, even you know, even if they don't actually use their phones to play games like Knights of the Republic, even if they're only playing Clash of Clans, Angry Birds, Flappy Bird, whatever they're playing, they're still gamers because they're enjoying playing video games on their platform of choice, which just so happens to be the phone. And I'm, I'm a huge gamer. Anyone who knows me, anyone who's ever watched any of my videos on this channel knows that I am a huge gamer. And I play on multiple different platforms, one of them being on my tablet. Or on my phone. I have tons of games. I play Clash of Clans. I play Knights of the Republic on my on my tablet sometimes. I mean, it's 
I enjoy it, and that doesn't make me some kind of, like, casual outcast, not a real gamer person for enjoying it, because I also have my monster PC, my next-gen consoles, my 7th-gen consoles, my 6th-gen consoles. I have all this stuff, and just because I also choose to play on a mobile platform, that does not make me not a real gamer, because, like we've been discussing for the past five minutes, mobile platforms are real platforms. So if you like this video, or if you agree with me, even if you don't agree with me, just smack the like button, hit me up with a subscribe, and just comment, do all that whole video-y type response stuff. I really do want to hear from you guys in the comments. Just keep it, you know, be nice. <laughs> but, you know, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Stay classy, guys.